we got this week? Okay, we've got an updated product. You're probably like, how many Metro Express are you talking about? Last week we talked about the Metro M4 Express. This is an update to the Metro M0 Express. Looks very much similar. Um, we've actually made some important changes. One, uh, it used to be surface mount headers, and now it's through hole headers. Um, second, we have updated the design, the ground plane design a bit. Uh, there are some people who said, like, oh, some of the analog uh, inputs, uh, they didn't read as quietly as the, like, the Feather M0. We found that there was um, not a, a really great ground plane underneath the chip uh, on the way to the analog lines. And so we did shift around some components, none of the um, connector components, just like the chip and parts. And, uh, but the most important thing is we um, changed over to two hole headers for uh, the headers on the side, the female headers, the two by three, and the DC jack. So it's more rugged, durable. Otherwise, it's very similar. Oh, and we um, now ship it with CircuitPython on it. So when you get it, it already has CircuitPython 2.2. Okay. Next, uh, AT Maker Badge. We have AT Maker Badge. Let me grab it. Cool. I wonder if it's going to show up green with the green screen. Let's oh, yeah, that's let's a good find point. Out, let's find out, let's find out, let's find out. All right. Yeah, I think it's probably going to be... <laughs> okay. Well, this floating uh, badge... It's translucent. It's kind of cool. Um, this is an AT Maker badge, and it has uh, the six hand symbol for assistive technology. Um, we worked with Bill at AT Maker. This is um, the group that he uh, helps run. Um, every purchase, uh, we send um, money to his organization so they can yep. support it. If you're making assistive technology and you want to support assistive technology maker group uh, and share and show your support, we now have this really wonderful uh, yeah. embroidered badge. And all the students that he works with and the high school students go and help do assistive technology. We send out some badges. And then uh, for every badge purchase, we donate to AT yep. Makers. So, so you, get, win, you, win. You, get a, yeah, you get a badge and they get a donation. You get a badge. You get a badge. And I think that's a neat thing that people can wear, and they're like, "Oh, what's that?" And you can say, oh, "Let me tell you about assistive technology." This is way cooler than like the you know the scout badges that exist now. And this is like this is like you made high tech to help people. Yeah, that's neat. You know the uh, Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts or sh or shall I say, Scouts BCA BSA yeah. BSA they might consider doing a set assistive technology they badge. Do assistive yeah. technology. Anywho, maybe we'll send an email to them. Okay, next up. Soldering irons. Soldering irons. Let me grab one of these. Okay, so it looks like there's two different ones. There's two different ones, but they're very similar. Um, okay. So this is a soldering iron. It's The company's called Best, which makes it very hard to Google for. Best um, is best. I know, best is best. But it is actually a rather nice uh, non... Um, it's a plug-in type, not a um, workstation type. Yeah. So just as an... Uh, um, a plug. What's really nice about these is that um, we have them in U.S. plug style. Now we have them in Euro and uh, the British UK, like the big chunky um, connector style. So, is if it the you, two different versions, they, I mean, they're two different versions. Yeah, you have one for UK and then one for European, oh. and we also have U.S. for people who use U.S. style plugs. But the working side is the same. And I like the soldering iron because. It um, uses HACO compatible tips. So the tip that it comes with, it's kind of a nice mixed use surface mount through holes. I get the pointy tip, but it's, I find it a, it's good. Heats up pretty fast and it has a temperature control built in, um, as you can see here. So as you um, go through the temperatures, you can, I mean, it's not like crazy calibrated, but it's calibrated enough that you can uh, go through the temperatures um, and have you know a lead-free temperature and a um, non-lead-free, a light temperature. That's what it looks like. Also, it's like nice and light. Like sometimes those irons are like really heavy. This one is is. Lead tested. Yeah, and like as non workstation style soldering irons go, uh, this is kind of my favorite. Okay. So yeah, now we we've already had it with the U.S. Now we have it with Euro and British plug. All right, next up, celebrate CircuitPython three. We're in beta. That's right. We, we have, have this poster. gigantic poster. It's um, super cool looking. Uh, it's got this. Uh, Python, uh, Blinka Python on it. Yeah. Um, I can hold Designed it Designed by Bruce Yan. Yeah. It's our designer. Why don't you hold it, it up well, and chat about it while I grab this next demo. Yeah. So here it is. Um, assume it's limited edition because when we're out, we're out. So if you like Python, and we're going to do a custom one for each version. You know, I gave you my plug. For what? The um, the cricket plug. Can you grab it? I don't know where it is, but I'll try. And uh, 
while I'm while there's some dead air, we just got this. Um, the Hacksbake folks sent us the image, and we made a poster. So this is this is the next one. Hold on. While Lady Ada go gets it. Right All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Oh, shoot. I'll just show the video. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get the plug. Sorry, the plug didn't make it to the demo box. Well, why don't you start showing it off? Is, do you think it's over there from yesterday? <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay. Do you want to show the, um, the yeah, first let's, video? Yeah, let's get this started first. So this is the star of the show tonight besides you. Yes. And our community. It's, this, this is basically what I would be doing live anyway. So this is a um, RGB flexible matrix. We showed this off on um, Twitter a, a bit ago and people really liked it. We got these in pretty fast. So it's a 32 by 64 multiplex matrix. It's not NeoPixels. You have to drive the matrix um, like with an Arduino or with a Raspberry Pi. We have a matrix bonnet. There's like a two by eight plug on the back and you have to you know toggle through all yeah, um, the RGB uh, pixels. Um, the nice thing is, is that, you know, of course, it's, it's flexible. Like we've had these for a while and they've had a rigid, uh, PCB and a like a plastic frame to them and then uh, Philby actually emailed me and said hey you know like I saw a video from like some company and they make a, a flexible version so it's the same exact circuitry except the LEDs are extra small so they won't crack off the PCB and um, the PCB itself is like a super skinny one oh perfect um, I'm basically a golden retriever for Lady Ada for electronic supply. components. Yeah, sweet. yeah, I know. It's pretty much all I do. It's fun. Thank you. Um, okay, so let me get out of this mode here. Yeah. You want to show it? I guess I can you show wanna, it. You want to hold it up? Yeah, maybe I'll just hold it up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so um, you can see it's super skinny, and um, you can bend it. Now, a lot of people would be like, how much can you bend it? You can bend it about this much. You know, this, it's not like super HECA flexible. And I think if you bend it too much and too often, you might eventually crack components or crack traces. So you don't want to be careful. But if you want to have it like wrap around an architectural element or maybe just have something in a wearable or, you know, something that is, is moves and you want it to have a little bit yeah. more give, this is definitely going to get you there. And it has a mounting post on the back as well. So um, a nice upgrade to the matrices we all have. I mean, this is definitely for indoor use only. You definitely have to be careful with it. It's not going to be as rugged as the uh, as the non flexible versions, but it's like super cool. I mean, it's flexible. Come on. Yeah. Do you want to show it under the overhead? Just, yeah, you see now. Okay. Yeah. So. So yeah, flexible. You can see, and then there's these posts, but yeah. And I've got it running off of a mega. Uh, you'll need a mega if you want to use our Arduino code. I, I actually really just recommend a Raspberry Pi these days okay. um, for this stuff or another fast. You know, the TNC has a driver for these as well. Um, BeagleBone has drivers for these as well. But they're RGB matrices, not NeoPixels. So just watch out for that. All right. Okay. And, and with that, Lady Ada, that was new product.